Hey you guys, welcome to another TikTok tag me video. And this is the Sick Ill book tag and it was started by Sarah and her channel is Sarah with an H and I will leave the link down to her channel below. And if you guys are going to do this video, please leave it as a video response to her video channel and just tell me in the comments below whether you did it or not and I'll go check that out. And if you're not and you just want to answer a question or two, just tell me uh, in the comments below. So. Yes, I'm going to read the description of what the tag's about. A total of nine questions whose symptoms mirror how a book made you feel. So, the first illness is diabetes. A book too sweet, like really sweet. Kind of like corny and stuff, like really? Oh, and I picked I Was a Teenage Fairy by Frances Leah Block. Don't get me wrong, I like this book. But... But sometimes with the romance, I was just like, are you serious? Wow, that was so corny. <laughs> but still kind of sort of made me laugh at it. And yeah, but yeah. So <clears throat> next question two, Chicken Pox, a book that you've read once and will never pick up again. And I bet <laughs> most of you can already anticipate my answer. So we should all just say it at the same time. One, two, three. Wickedly Lovely by Melissa Marr. I really don't like that book. It makes me think bad thoughts. Really bad thoughts. Yeah, okay, so three, Influenza, the flu, a contagious book that spreads like a virus. And <laughs> I picked up one or two. <laughs> you know, there's quite a few books that are just going around. And I picked up Dead Into the Dark by Charlene Harris. Everyone seems to be reading the True Blood books these days. So, yeah, I actually read it before. It got all popular because my sister had it and the original cover and everything. And I had put the rest on my to-read list or something because I think she had one or two out at that point. I'm not sure. But then a while later, it got really popular. And I'm just like, man, this always happens to me. The TV show comes out. I'm like gotta reread those books again <laughs> number this is the other book that I saw like everywhere like my sister had recommended it to me and I didn't get to it yet and then at one point I just couldn't get away from it it was just everywhere everyone everyone's talking about it like it was on news TV shit stations everybody was articles everywhere and I'm just like Ugh. and then it wasn't until the movie was coming out with Tom Hanks yeah I gotta watch it now. Yeah, Tom Hanks, awesome. And so I finally read the book and I absolutely loved it. So yay, it quickly became one of my favorite books. So I'm so glad I got to that. Okay, number four, The Cycle. A book you read every month, year, or often. <coughs> and I went with The Mything series by Robert Asprin. And I always reread his books. They're awesomeness. And this one has two in one. So uh, I'm trying not to reread books as much this year. So, But I've been kind of itching. I've been trying to itch to reread this book. But I'm like, no, read something else. Read something else. But I kind of, I think I might give in soon. Maybe. No, I'm strong-willed. You will not win. <laughs> I love that book. Okay, moving on. Uh, five, Insomnia, a book that kept you up all night. And come on, lots of books done that. But I'm going to go with the recently one that kept me up all night. And it was The Ask and the Answer, Hit Myself with a Book, <laughs> by Patrick Ness. And I promised myself I would only read the first chapter, then another chapter. Then I was like, no, part one. And I was like, part two. And then I was like, at this point, you're just lying to yourself. You know you're not getting any sleep tonight. You, you might as well just... Just stop saying your your one more one more page one more sentence. It was never gonna work. Yes, you lied. Yes, I lied. I lied to myself. I don't know what that voice was for. Um, so yeah, moving on before this gets even more weird. <clears throat> Amnesia, a book that's forgotten, failed to leave a powerful impression in your memory, and it was funny because I actually had to look at my bookshelf to actually remember a book. <laughs> that sort of failed to leave an impression and it was ID the stuff that happens to define us by Peter Peter Mitchell and Kate Scowlin and I was just like this book there is nothing to define this book in any way shape or form ha huh, see he's the title <laughs> I don't remember it wasn't a very good book 
part of the reason I haven't done a review on it because I don't remember. I'm probably gonna have to sort of kind of reread it again, which just makes me ah. Moving on. <sighs> Seven, asthma, a book that took your breath away, and I went with <coughs> the Fault in Our Stars by John Green. What? Because you you were just awesome. Fault in Our Stars. I just I just loved you and romance and your funny comedy and your sad heartbreaking storyline oh god love this book who didn't love this book it was awesome okay number eight malnutrition a book that locked food for thought and i'm just gonna go with those wheezy bag books from francis lee block oh god there's nothing in those books worth anything at any point in time, just nothing, just like seriously, <laughs> nothing. You read it, it was like, it wasn't even huh for me. It was just like, never again. Moving on. Number nine, Travel Sickness, a book that took you on a journey through time or space or to a specific locale on a map. And I picked The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas. Adams and it has all five of his books because this is a binder nip or else this would be a really long book ha huh? <laughs> and I absolutely love these books and then I also picked another one and it was Ender's Game by Olson Scott Card yep you guys awesome book and this one's more funny and hilarious and kind of dry humorish and this one's more kind of serious like yeah Sometimes I feel like there's not very much plot to these books, but in these ones, there's definitely, oh god, I just love them both. They're awesome, and you guys should definitely check them out and read it. This one is coming out with the movie soon, so yeah, let's hope that the movie is good. <laughs> really, let's hope, because um, I think this is a difficult book to turn into a movie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and with this one... There is already a movie, and I think TV shows and stuff like this. But the movie I liked and saw was the one with Martin Freeman in it, and you guys might know him from Sherlock, where he plays John Watson, or maybe he is. You saw the Hobbit trailer, and he is totally gonna be Bilbo Baggins, and he is going to be awesome. Can't wait for the Hobbit! Yay! So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys liked my answers, and please remember to leave a video response to Sarah and. <coughs> So yeah, actually, you know, I'm going to tag some people. I'm going to tag some people, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. And the first is Tracy from Tracy and Michelle two one zero, and then Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement. Kara from the reader of the awesome. Aaron and Jeremy from Matham's Book. Lindsay from T and Jeep Gal. Debbie from Debbie Hoys. Aaron from Rass Queen. James from In Reluctant. Rincy from Rincy Reads, and also always book hungry. Catherine from Cool7788, Logan from Book Reviews by Logan, and also Danielle, Danielle, Danielle from Arnell, Arnell, I don't know how to pronounce that, her channel name, but it doesn't matter because I will leave the links to everyone channels below and you guys can check them out too, <coughs> and hopefully you guys do this tag, and I tagged everybody else too. If I forgot about you, sorry. I'm so sorry. It's too late to apologize. Oh god. But no. So yeah, everyone, do this tag. Remember to leave us a video response to say. Go check out her channel. Okay, you guys. I'm going to go shut up now and I will see you guys later. I will leave a link to my Goodreads, my Twitter, and my Tumblr and a list of my upcoming videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.